Hi guys, and welcome back to another Dot Trace video, and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. So we're going to be doing something a little bit different today, I just wanted to talk about customization. So I've made a couple of bikes the past couple of days on uh, Ride 4, I wanted to see what you guys think, and I'm curious to see what you guys would like me to make next. I really enjoyed making the Movistar Yamaha, this is actually on an R3 bike, but I took a lot of time getting it right and looking at images and trying to replicate it. I actually ended up using 977 layers out of the 1000 that, you, that you're offered, but of course I put my own racing number on it because it is the Movistar Dr. Ace. I, I like how this turned out. I wanted to do a lot more and I wanted to lot, add a lot more, but unfortunately with the way you only get a thousand sort of layers, I've already exceeded the limit and therefore that is the best we can sort of do for the time being. So I messed around last night with the Husqvarna and decided to create my own variant of the Husqvarna. I really like the way this turned out. With the big Husqvarna logo there, the motorcycles, even the Swedish flag, of course, from the manufacturer. I really like the way this turned out. But of course as well I have got some helmets and some suits I made, but of course as you know, the uh, Dot Drake YouTube version. This is actually a blue version, spelt the French way because of the way one of my cats is spelt. That's her name, Blue, and that's what we spell it, so... So I made a blue variant because I thought this goes a little bit better when wearing the likes of the Yamaha leathers, etc. Although I made the R3, I decided to make some sort of matching leathers as well. And of course, my original helmet design, the Dot Trace YouTube. Although this is what I originally started with, but I just had no idea. And that was my older logo when it was light blue. A few suits I've made. You know, I really didn't really know what to do with these. I wanted to make a custom suit for my Kawasaki. And this is what I sort of came up with. It's kind of like Johnny Ray inspired. And of course the Ace White Dionysia that you've seen was in my video. But I must say I really enjoyed making these. I think they're quite therapeutic and relaxing. So if you guys want to see more content regarding editing and creating, be sure to let me know. I really love the way this one turned out. This is the Red Ixon Red Bulls. Bridgestone logo. It's got the few Red Bulls, the Motul. And of course the actual Red Bulls themselves. I, I really like the way this one turned out. The only problem is I think I need to change the stickers because it's a very glossy bike so when in when in the darkness for some reason it shines like really 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 white. It's kind of annoying I guess. Well here is the Yamaha leathers I made for the Yamaha R3 and I love the way this one turned out. Of course I didn't create most of the logos like the Movistar one, the Enios ones, uh, Mo the, the Monster Energies etc. I didn't really create most of those, but I really love the way this turned out. It, it's very close to what uh, Rossi and Vinales wore in 2017. It's not perfect, of course, because obviously none of them wore Ixon leathers, but it's the best you can do with what you've been given. And of course, it's just a normal white Yamaha one. Uh, this is for the Yamaha R6, which will be a video on the Yamaha R6 tomorrow, so stay tuned. Subscribe if you're not already. So of course, for every single time someone downloads your leathers, helmets or designs you do get some credits for it so 10 people downloaded that 3 16 26 and 2 i've even downloaded a couple myself of course uh, my friend fuchs made this one i think i have a few from fuchs actually yeah that, i love this one i think it's brilliant but i really want to make some more of course there is the ducati leathers the scott redding version marco simoncelli i should have used this for the video i did it at Nord chat or Nord life but I didn't have it at the time. Of course, my rider sticker. This is what you see at the back of my rider every single video. Of course, I'm not the most gifted when it comes to sort of creative design, but I must say I really, really enjoyed making these. So what I wanted to ask, and the reason I've made this video, is I wanted to see your guys' best custom designs, whether it be replicas, original content, or even based on the design books, sort of tweaks in your own way. I would like to see what you guys can do and how you guys make it work. If you're interested in getting in touch and letting me know, you could follow me on Instagram. Links in the description below. Username is Dr. Underscore Ace 46 one So if you want to follow me on Instagram and send me the pictures there, that's fine by me. But of course, if you have Steam in your own PC and you want to play, don't hesitate to add me. My name is simply Dr. Ace on Steam. As you can see in my profile here, nice and simple. If you're interested, let me know and we'll see what we can conjure up. So guys, just been a brief video. Hope you've enjoyed this one. We've got some more endurance races coming up soon and a video on my favourite bike. So stick around and hopefully I will see you there. So guys, as always, thank you very much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Ciao for now.